What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new Fortnite video here on my channel. So it's been rumoured for a while now that Save the World will be a free to play version of Fortnite alongside Battle Royale and if you guys didn't know Fortnite was at one point all pay to play because Fortnite Battle Royale when it initially released was $40 for all you OG players who actually played it back then when Tilted Towers didn't exist, yes you guys may have paid $40 and know like YouTubers like Big Faults have who've played it literally since day one when it was initially released, literally the first day Battle Royale came out and stuff like that. However, Save the World hasn't turned free to play yet and obviously a lot of people actually buy Save the World because you know you can earn V-Bucks through quests and it's a very good kind of game to grind out and really enjoy and obviously share items with friends as you guys may see on YouTube. There's lots of videos of people scamming people like for rare items and stuff and a lot of people seem to enjoy those. So the whole concept of Save the World is a very, very popular subject in the eyes of the Fortnite community. Despite it not being as big as Battle Royale, a lot of people would like to see Save the World free and that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video and obviously the origin of it. However, I've got some new information regarding the release date so make sure you guys are sticking around and watching the full video. Before we get into that though, I'd just like to to announce that I do a 2018 free V-Book giveaway on my YouTube channel every month for one lucky subscriber to win. Here's how you can enter for the month of October that will be announced the winner of in November. All you need to do is leave a like on this video down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel with post notifications turned on so you never miss a future upload, when I upload whatever I upload, follow my Twitter linked in the video description down below and comment down below on this very video letting me know you've completed all the above steps so I can check across your social media platforms to see the fulfillment of the requirements of certain guys. You need to be following all of them and including that in your entry comment down below whether you say I've completed all the above steps or simply name them one by one. Also me and a buddy called The Lux Players are running another giveaway teaming up and giving away 4 season 6 battle passes to 4 lucky subscribers. How you can enter this is simply follow the rules listed in the video description down below at the very top. Upon completion of all them steps you guys will have a chance of winning one of 4 season 6 battle passes that me and The Lux Players are going to be giving away very very soon and obviously with this giveaway your odds of winning are actually increased because we're not just giving away one set of 2,800 V-Bucks like I personally run on my channel every month, we're giving away 4 individual Season 6 Battle Passes to 4 individual lucky subscribers who win the giveaway from following the steps linked in the video description, or should I say listed in the video description down below. But without any further ado, let's get into talking about Save the World and when it was actually first initially meant to be coming free in 2018 or later on in the year. So this piece of information is obviously on Fortnite itself when you actually go on and basically try and buy Save the World or it encourages you to buy it stating that Save the World PvP campaign is in early access with microtransactions. Early access means it's still in development with bugs and balance issues. If that's not for you, Save the World will be free in 2018. Buy a Founders Pack now to play right away and get unique items and rewards. So this basically implies that it's not fully refined right now, but if you guys really want to play it because it's still really fun to play or basically because it supports the actual company itself, Epic Games, in order to fund you know, the development of this quicker and better and more refined, or make it more refined, should I say. So yeah, many people right now have already bought this, however, it will be coming free at some point, but Epic Games today put out some information that it will not be later 2018, and obviously that proves that this article, or basic piece of information right here when you go onto Fortnite and it encourages you to buy Save the World, was not fake or was not basically put in to trollers like many other games do. So this next piece of information that I want to share with you guys is actually a video format that was uploaded around 10 hours ago at the time of me recording this video to Fortnite's official YouTube channel, basically showcasing a director or Epic Games employee from the Save the World team predominantly focusing on that, telling us everything we need to know about what's going on with Save the World and when it's going to be coming free to Fortnite players very, very soon. So without any further ado, I present to you guys this short 30 second clip and then we'll talk about what's going on afterwards and all the opinions surrounding when it's actually going to be coming and everything that's going to be included new in Fortnite Save the World. Hello Fortnite community, Billy here from the Save the World team with a special announcement. After careful consideration, we've decided to delay the full free to play launch of Save the World out of 2018. Since the initial release of the game, we've added several new features and quality of life improvements along with new events, heroes and items. We still have more we'd like to do before going free. We want to make sure that all of our players, both old and new, 
have a great experience. So we'll be doing some technical and performance work in order to handle the scale of a full launch. So this is a really respectable move in my opinion anyways for a non-save the world player currently because of the fact they're waiting to release it to a wider community or audience of people who will download it because it's free and obviously they want to refine it and make it completely perfect before they do so. However, I can understand if you're already a save the world player and bought the founders pack for £80 where you got additional new cosmetics, skins, features, whatever and obviously you haven't got a perfect version of the game for paying all that sum of money but just know that in the grand scheme of things you will be a unique player with all the unique cosmetics you've received from the founders pack. Now I don't know if we'll be able to still purchase these packs once the actual base version of this version of Fortnite will be free obviously being save the world but I honestly don't think that they would remove these packs because it ultimately makes the money and people will still buy them predominantly because of the cosmetics meanwhile the game mode still being free to play like we have the option in battle royale you could just use your nose skin and your default pickaxe your default glider or you can spend v bucks that you've bought through real in life money to get a cool cosmetic or cool looking character slash skin within the game now as you guys know fortnite save the world was the original version of fortnite that came out obviously battle royale didn't exist at the time that save the world launched because it was the first version like i just mentioned but since battle royale came out the net worth of epic games has risen to eight billion dollars literally all through the fact that we can have cosmetics within the game however it involves us buying v bucks through real life money obviously being a micro transaction that isn't forced to do in order to have these core features within the game epic games have recognized this and thought you know what we don't need the actual extra additional money that people are paying in order to play save the world in the first place so let's make it free for people to try out and obviously if they want cool new additional features or to get things actually quicker within the game whether it's a cool weapon variant whether it's you know a cool looking skin or hero they will have to maybe pay a sum of money through a microtransaction but in the grand scheme of things the amount of people it will attract to this new kind of version of Fortnite that they've never played before being saved the world and obviously the fact that they will be driven to buy these microtransactions just like they did in Battle Royale, it will outweigh the initial cost to play Save the World of what currently Fortnite is basically asking for, like literally, I don't know, £30 or something like that for the cheapest version of Save the World. And that's disregarding the other packages, deals and other cool things that were offered in bundles for Fortnite Save the World, such as the Founders Pack, like I mentioned, cost $100 or £80. Now, Epic Games really know what they're doing. They're constantly tweaking the game, pushing out updates, and they're able to do this because Fortnite is in beta form, so they're able to get an update out every couple of days or something, if something needs tweaking, if something, you know, they want to add to the game is going to be put in, they can just do it almost instantaneously. And this is a very big competitive factor for Fortnite's success compared to other games such as Call of Duty and the release of Red Dead Redemption 2 and obviously what that will entail and be when it comes out on October 26th. So the timing being delayed is kind of a bummer because honestly it would have eliminated a lot of the competition or largely rivaled with the player base or some of Fortnite's player base right now. Moving over to other games such as Call of Duty, obviously being Black Ops 4 the launch this year on October 12th and the release of Red Dead Redemption 2 obviously attracting a lot of players from the Fortnite community even if it's just for a short duration of time they want to make money and the best way to do that is this move right here by making save the world or fortnite overall a free to play game and have it known throughout the community as a first innovative kind of move in the gaming industry that we've ever seen for a full game and honestly fortnite this year has broke so many records in terms of you know sales viewers online everything like that it's even attracted celebrities like drake to play with pro Fortnite players like Ninja or well-known streamers or influencers on social media. So you can just imagine, it's just going to keep growing. It's Fortnite right now, the popularity of it is just snowball affecting and obviously that's going to continue into 2019 when Save the World especially is going to be released for completely free for everybody to get their hands on and try or even just experiment with and I guarantee you a lot of people will get hooked and be buying their microtransactions to, you know, generate Epic Games that little bit more revenue and obviously next year be expecting an article that their net worth has gone up to at least 15 billion dollars because the amount of people that this will attract and 
concerned will influence to actually buy these microtransactions to speed processes up that they maybe perhaps you know want to be ahead of their friends or whatever it will make them tons and tons of money literally they will have made like over millions and millions of dollars just the day that they brought the school trooper back in Fortnite season 6. Let me know your opinions about Fortnite Save the World becoming free in 2019 and when you guys think it will be in that year in the comment section down below because I'm really interested to hear your guys thoughts, theories, opinions just let me know and obviously if we can get any closer to a conclusive date in 2019 that would be awesome to tell my subscribers and if you can do that I'll be pinning a comment if you back it up with context that actually makes sense so make sure you guys do that right now as a kind of little competition in the comment section. With that being said thank you all so much for watching today's video and support on channel recently you guys have been killing it make sure if you enjoyed you leave a like in the video down below and if you want to enter either giveaway make sure you rewind the video to the start and follow all the steps that I mentioned in order to enter either or giveaway the 2008 of free v-book giveaway or the four season six battle pass giveaway that I'm doing with deluxe players. Hopefully I can see you guys sticking around on the channel by subscribing in future videos and peace.